All right. 27 chilling rain booster packs. So almost an entire booster box. Nope, all random rates. <laughs> Isn't that how it always is with the lotto? <laughs> you get nothing or you can possibly get everything. Too bad. He already did. That's good. And the nice thing is, is she actually doesn't even have to watch you opening them because she can just watch it on YouTube later. When she goes after the code cards. <laughs> Well, that's what I did with the, the specific code card one, is it's actually unlisted. So she has the code for it. You can show the code, it's fine. That way it's just done and over with. Then you can just pitch them. You don't need to keep them at all. Although you might want to go a little bit slower because I know a lot of people are very interested. And there's your Articuno. Yeah, well, let's find out what it's worth. Our... Yeah, because I know some people actually do like watching all the cards. And then some people just like seeing the good ones at the end. And yeah, it's just... You showed the code, right? Okay. <laughs> He's like, white code card, gotta get, and fuck you, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. On the BV. All right. That card on screen one more time. Ninety seven cents.
On a side note, uh, dear, you remember that uh, one that you were, said had purple in it and you couldn't figure out where the purple was going to be? It's not on its feet. Crystals on its head are purple. There's actually two of them like that. Three of them like that. Four of them like that. Got the code. <laughs> Remember, some of those regular foils, though, actually weren't bad on price tag. Viva Voltage has a better pull rate than Chilling Rain does. Chilling Rain is supposed to be one of the worst. Although you did get a couple good pulls the other day out of Chilling Rain, so... Yeah, one of these videos, you ought to show your money book in it. Damn what? So that is a dollar fifty six.
That Paragon Z is 47 cents. Hold on, that was a that's a different pose than the one from before. Eighty six cents. <laughs> All right, hold on real quick before you get to. You can show the code, but. And then just wait for a second. Why is you doing this? Oh, that's why. Uh, yes. World. Yeah, give me one second. For some reason, my uh, I flipped over to my other feed so I could put what I'm doing in the top corner, and for some reason, it had everything as full screen. Okay, there you go. So the top left corner of your camera won't show the code. So just make sure you keep it kind of centered. Taurus.
That's new. There's a crocodile on the uh, beach across from your island. I've never seen the Sarkos over there before. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. We have Basilisks now. I forgot about that. Hey, you said you wanted it more challenging, did you not? <laughs> there you go! It was, they were both green. Hey, you want some, you lose some. So you had some decent pulls today, you know. Especially those two Mews. Yeah, they usually do. Yeah, next time though, we ought to just uh, actually put them all in a video. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, you should show your uh your money book. Hold on, what time is it in the video? Let me look. 2.13. Hold on. 6-2-K-V-W-9-M-G-H-V, and I missed the last part of the code. Hold on, let me check, let me check, let me check. Me too and Mew GX. Mew too and Mew GX secret unified minds if it's 242 out of 236. That is a one hundred and seven dollar card.
time. Two oh nine. All right. So those, those are both T zero. That one's a T zero. That's the very next car or very next one. No. How's the how's the card start out? Is it one that he dropped? No, uh, because he picked it back up. I don't think it was at 209 because at 209 was the card that he did earlier. And that went on to 214. No, you did the HQ6. That's the one that ended with the T. Yeah, you pulled one of those earlier. Uh, hold on, which one is this up? Uh, well, it's the wrong screen. That's the same damn screen. Alright, Charizard EX. Uh, I said EX, not Ed. Charizard EX. EX uh, da, da, da. Charizard EX uh, is it XY one two one?
All right, so there's two different ones that I'm looking at. Both look identical. They're both from the same set. One is from XY Pro. Well, sorry. One says uh, jumbo cards. The other one says XY promos. So each of those retail market value thirty-seven dollars and twenty cents. Yep. The Mew 2 and Mew GXs, show that again real quick. SM191, $16 each. Uh, let me see exactly what it costs. Seventy-three. You said they're all hidden fates, right? Let me just see. Uh... Now let me see in the Hidden Fates what's actually the best. Did I find Hidden Fates? Where are you? Hidden Fates Shiny Vault. All right, yes, so Umbreon is, so Charizard GX is number one at 363, followed by Umbreon at 73, then we have Sylveon at 67, the Mewtwo's are at 48 each, Espeon at 47, Leafeon at 35, Scizor 27, Greninja, 26. Dark Riot, 23. Gardney Vire at 22. Lucario at 20. Uh, do you have any of the original Eevees? Shiny Hollow Rare. 19. Ho -Oh OGX, 19. The Charmander, Shiny Hollow Rare, 18, well, sorry, 17, technically, it's 1727, so. That one I haven't seen you have, though. Uh, there's three of them. They start with T-A-P-U, Taipu Finn GX, Taipu Lele, and Taipu Cuckoo. Uh, they are shiny hollow rares. They look odd in color. Like, the card is almost, like, golden completely. Uh, yeah, that one... Okay, so, yeah, that one's down here. That one's 17. And then there's three others that are higher than it. But they look like that same design of card. It's just the KO, KO, the Finny, and the LE, LE, or the three. Let's 
see here. What lily is that? Is that one a number 151 from Ultra Prism? That is a $243 card. Yeah, just make sure none of your fan art stuff is on there. Okay. Because that would be a big no-no. <laughs> is that a Zapdos at the bottom right? Uh, what is it? Um, I don't see the rainbow, though. I see the... The non-rainbow edition, which is the top one, that's five. Yeah, I'm not seeing the, the rainbow version of it. Is it from the same set? No, it's not a hollow foil, that's for damn sure. Oh, here it is, here it is. Are you saying that pose doesn't make it in English yet? The Japanese one, did you say that pose didn't make it in English yet? I swear I had one at one point. I don't think it was English, but... For some reason, that pose looks familiar to me. That might be why. Yeah, the sad thing is, is I type in shiny Magikarp and it doesn't even show or pull it up at all. But I type in Magikarp and it's there. $239. Neo Revolution. What is it? Let's check. Special delivery bidoof. 
You paid how much for it? 155 near mint hollow foil. You can actually buy it for that. Market price is 173. Your un I'm back on your uncommon. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. I had that. So your uncommon. I just want to see that one. Uncommon. Uh, that's not it, but that's the same pose. Sort of. No, that's not the same pose. Does it happen to say what set it's from? Um, is there a, um, the serial FTQ? FTQ, now it just went blurry. Could you read the rest of it for me? That didn't come back with anything. FTQ C five Z D Q G. Yeah, because when I just type in Magikarp, I don't see it. Except for, oh, wait a minute. Could that have been the fire red and leaf green version? Um, is it a reverse hollow foil? So what's the reverse hollow foil? Hold on here, let me send you this image real quick. Because this is what I am pulling up for it. I just sent the photo of the card. <laughs> yeah, so that card says that it is a... Okay, so when I click on that card, it's from Fire Red and Leaf Green. It says it's a number 67. And according to the details on it, it says Lightly Played Reverse Hollow Foil. There's a normal version and there's a foil version. The foil version goes for 28 bucks on the market. The non-foil version goes for $3. So that should be the foil version. Because you see, it's got that same uncommon logo in the bottom right. So it's like twenty-eight dollars. Because yours is the foil. 
So it's called reverse hollow foil. It's still worth money, though. Cool. Yep. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Special thanks to Demon for showing off his stuff. And if anyone wants to steal his, uh, you know, break into his house and steal his binder, he lives in Miami, Florida. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On Beach Street. Mm. Actually, I kind of feel bad if Beach Street was actually a name of a street in Florida. I probably should look that up real quick. No, it doesn't exist. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> beach Street, it's where Daytona Beach should be, but it's not. <laughs> well, hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one, everybody.